it seem like we feel the same We love what we hate Stay in peace knowing that you are divinely protected and well surrounded by God's favor. Hello guys, this is Shundel and today share knowing, understanding that we are divinely protected and we are surrounded by God's favor. Of course, this is just a share, guys, of my life experiences, of my situation. I am sharing this with you because this is the tool I am using every day to live my best life. I cannot live my best life, guys, without knowing that I am well protected. How can we stay in peace? Guys, again, this is a mindset break. I am sharing this with you because this is the way I live my life and I hope you can do the same with yourself. It takes a lot of work, mentality to work with ourselves. And living our best life is not easy. It takes a work, it takes effort, it takes kindness to your work, kind understanding with your surrounding. It takes a lot of effort. Guys, there are a lot of chaos going on in our life. It's very difficult to control sometimes and it cannot be avoided. That we can be in problems, struggles in life. It is a part of our life journey, but how can we still stay in peace with that? Guys, I am sharing this with you guys. Really, it is very important that we know how to stay in peace. Even we are in the chaos situation. Guys, for me, guys, as what I told you before, I have to invite him there above to join me every day in my daily life, in my step of day to day life. I have to invite him to lead me and guide me. Guys, again, it is a reminder to each and every one of us that it is about surrendering it all to Him. Living our best life, we must know how to control ourselves, how to control our temper, how to control the environment we are living in, which is not easy at all. Why I can see that it is not easy? Because there's a lot of challenges, chaos, different kinds of people we meet every day. And it cannot be avoided that we cannot please other people. We cannot just live in the terms of other people. No, it will not. To stay in peace, guys, again, we have to develop our strong self-confidence, our strong self-esteem, knowing that whatsoever happening in our life, the best thing you can do, stay in peace within you, live the best you can with your life. For me, being silent is best for me. Just let it go of things is best for me. Forgiving others is best for me. And of course, you have to know yourself that you are well protected. You are surrounded by God's favor. When you can declare and believe it in yourself, it becomes easier for you guys to stay in peace. Eben, you are facing different kinds of troubles. Eben, you are struggling. Even your surrounding is in chaos. It becomes easier for you to live a peaceful life when you know again who you really are and you know that you have someone up there above you can trust and you know that your life and your family are safe in the palm of you. His hands. That is a must you must understand. Living our best life, 
will not be a best life when you are in struggles of living in anxiety. I'm not condemning others guys who have anxiety. I have that too. I feel that every now and then. But I connect up there above right away when I can feel the anxiety. When I can feel the, you know, the thing which you cannot understand with yourself. You have to work that with yourself right away when you are going to live your best life to stay in peace guys for me again i have to share it with you find your happy place guys i am lucky enough to live in this place the lake is my happy place the water a time for me sitting here by the water is my happy place when i can sit here meditating communicating with him up there i have peace i can still stay in peace even i am struggling of something we all have struggles to face in this life life is not a life without any struggles but we have to learn how to handle it when you just put that in your mind every day every hour of the day that you are safe in the palm of your hand of his hand that you are well protected by him it becomes easier for you to be in peace call on to him again i have to share with you what i am living every day isaiah 33 3 that is my holding point when you book when you read the book of isaiah it says there come unto me and i will show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not we have to come unto him he is there for us but we have to come unto him he wants us to invite into our life every day. So guys, I am sharing this with you because it is very important. When we are struggling of something, in this life journey, we have to acknowledge and understand that He is there for us. And we are divinely protected every day and we are surrounded by God's favor every day and I am sharing with you some verse in the Bible that is my tool in this very moment as it says in Daniel 6 23 guys not a scratch was found on him for he had trusted in his God we all have God to worship, guys. And the story of Daniel, how the enemies of Daniel conspired to get him arrested and thrown into the lion's den for refusing to stop worshiping his God. Guys, we all have God. We believe in the same God. So therefore, it is very important for us to acknowledge him that He is always for us. God never promised that we wouldn't have difficulties, but He promised that He would give us strength for every challenge and take what was meant for harm and use it for our advantage. Guys, many times we may have a good reason to worry about something, but there's a simple praise to have to get down into your spirit that God got this. We are all divinely protected. We are all safe in the palm of His hand. We must just simply trust Him and live out of a Please, of peace and trust. Keep trusting instead of worrying. It's just a matter of time before you see things turn around in your favor. We all are surrounded by God's people. Remember that His promises that we can take the things that are meant to harm us and use them for our own good and use them for our advantage guys it is very important that we are grateful 
to receive the word and choose to remain at risk. Choose to remain at peace knowing that he got what are the struggles we are suffering. We have to believe and confront on him that he is there for us, thanking him that we are all safe in the palm of his hand. He got what all the struggles, problems, and difficulties we are facing in this life journey. Because we all have to experience difficulties in order for us to grow. But always remember that He did promise that He would give us strength for every challenge. Bear that in mind. Yes, guys, for me, guys, that is a simple share why I keep blogging this, telling about you, sharing with you what I have believed because this helped me. Just knowing that I am divinely protected by Him, knowing that I am surrounded by His favor, it really gives me hope and inspiration, guys, to keep on going in this life journey even I am struggling. I know it is not easy. I know it's always hard to believe the unseen, to believe the unknown. But guys, when you have Him in your heart, he promised us that He will be there for us in every challenge, in every struggles we are facing in this life journey. So do not be afraid. Instead of worrying, think of trusting Him. Keep trusting instead of worrying and always understand that we are all divinely protected by Him above. And He will allow difficulties to happen into our life so we can grow, so we can really understand what is our life journey is all about. This is Yundel. Thank you for listening. Thank you for dropping here in my channel. I am very grateful to each and every one of you supporting me here in my life journey. I love you all and bye-bye. Like we feel the same, we love what we have.